Hey, what's going on? Eric Bach here from Bach Performance, where we help busy people look great naked without living in the gym. Today, we're going to cover five major muscle building mistakes. And the reason we're talking about mistakes, well, sometimes it's easier to eliminate some of the things that you're doing rather than focusing on adding something brand new. So what we're gonna do here is simplify the process for you so all you need to focus on is executing, simplifying your journey to building more lean muscle. And if you are gonna want help along the way, make sure you head over to bachperformance.com backslash coaching and we will take you through step-by-step -step with the Bach Performance Physique Coaching Program. But let's get down to it. So got a quick list of five and any questions that you have, make sure you drop them in the comments below. So. Problem number one, when it comes to building lean muscle, not tracking calories. I know, I know it sucks. I do not enjoy tracking calories either. But the number one reason people do not build lean muscle isn't because of their training. It's because they're not eating enough food consistently for long enough. Therefore, your number one thing that you need to focus on is making sure that you're getting a caloric surplus in order to ensure you're focusing on the most important thing with building muscle, right? Logically, this makes all the sense in the world. So here's what you should do. You should map out what it looks like to get the calories that you need each and every single day. And this is something we'll work with you individually on in the program. But a good basic baseline would be body weight in calories times 20. That's a great starting point for the number of calories you should be eating in terms of building lean muscle. Yeah, there's lots of differences along the way, but if you're not tracking your calories, if you're not getting that caloric surplus, Guess what? You can be doing everything else correctly and you're not gonna be able to build lean muscle. So tracking calories, I know it sucks, but guess what? Commit to it for three months, commit to it for six months. You'll learn so much more about your body, about the nutrition deficiencies that you have and about your preferences that is really gonna change everything you're doing, whether you're even trying to build muscle or lose body fat. All right, number two, following inherently restrictive diets. Now, I'll tell you what, I'm a fan of different diets like intermittent fasting and you know, if keto is your thing, if going um, vegan, vegetarian, you know, any of these diets, if you have a reason for doing so, whether it's medical, whether it's something that you believe in, go for it. But when it comes to building lean muscle, here's what you need to understand. Any diet that inherently restricts calories, either due to a time frame like intermittent fasting or significantly cuts down the number of foods that you can eat, whether we're talking paleo, uh, whether we're talking going keto, it's going to be di more difficult for you to get the calories that you do need. Remember, from point number one, the most important point is getting sufficient calories in order to build lean muscle. So if you're following a diet that is predicated on making that more difficult, you're shooting yourself in the foot when it comes to building muscle. So simplify it by not following such a restrictive diet. Obviously eat in a way that's gonna feel healthy that you're gonna be able to do consistently. But again, you need to make sure you're getting that caloric surplus in order to build lean muscle. You with me? You with me? All right, so number three, which leads to the opposite spectrum here. And I'm gonna tell you a little story. And this is number three, drastic overeating. You get to a point when eating more calories is not gonna to lead to more muscle growth. I still remember in college, after I was done playing football, I was trying to continue gaining muscle, trying to continue gaining size. However, my activity level went way down, plus my drinking probably went up a little bit. But here's the thing, I was crushing ice cream mixed with weight gainers, doing everything I could to crush about 5,000 calories, and because that was probably about a surplus of 1,500 from what I really actually needed, I started getting a little bit of a beer belly, started gaining a lot more body fat, and I wasn't really gaining any more muscle. And when that happens, you have to understand that your body can only build lean muscle so fast. So in most cases, a caloric surplus of 300 to 500 above your maintenance, which really comes into calculation when we're talking body weight in pounds times 18 to 20, give or so, or give or take, um, that's going to get you in that ballpark. But you don't want to get to a place where you're just eating nonstop and you're blowing through your calories, eating 5,000, 6,000, 700 calories when maybe 3,500 or 4,000 will do. That's not going to lead to any faster muscle growth. It is going to lead to faster fat gain. All right. But again, the goal here is to build muscle. You do have to understand that some fat gain is part of it. Now, here's another topic that a lot of people really seem to get interested in. And this is my point number four. You should reduce the number of mini cuts and taking breaks from your muscle gaining goals. So here's what happens a lot of times. Someone will read some, something about carb cycling, about taking mini cuts because it's going to help you improve insulin sensitivity. You're going to reset some, um, you know, more or less how efficient your body is going to break down macronutrients. And voila, you're going to be able to stay leaner while you build muscle. While this works good on a physiological perspective and it works good in theory, 
Here's what happens, and this is what I noticed, and this is the big difference you need to understand between reading something on PubMed or reading something from you know your favorite Instagram influencer that's coached people for one year versus implementation. When this is implemented, People tend to second guess the reason that they're doing a bulk in the first place. They look back and say, oh, you know what, I, don't, I, I wanna go back into a cut. And all of a sudden, instead of actually sticking with the goal of trying to build lean muscle, which often takes three to six months at a time, they start to backtrack, they cut their calories, and then they start this vicious cycle of, oh, I'm gonna bulk up for a month, oh, now I feel small, oh, now I feel fat, so I'm gonna cut down for a month. And they continue doing this sometimes for months or years on end. So if you're really going to focus on trying to build muscle, give yourself that commitment where you're going to understand, hey, I'm going to gain a little bit of body fat, but I need to stick with it and own this process if I'm going to make meaningful change and really build physique changing muscle. Then finally, number five, and this is adding too many habits or making too many changes too soon. And this is one other reason that you need to commit to three to six months when it comes to building lean muscle. You see, a lot of times what happens when we're trying to build muscle is we all of a sudden we try to eat more at every single meal. We're trying to adopt new changes, whether it's getting more hydrated, sleeping, adding an extra training day. And adding too many things at once is a first class ticket to failure. So specifically when it comes to building lean muscle. All these things I talked about before, they can be very helpful, but what's gonna really help you build lean muscle and keep it for the long term is going to be your ability to pick one thing at a time, add it to your diet, add it to your training, one of the two, and stick with it consistently. So here's what this looks like. Let's say you need to have an extra 300 or 500 calories in a day. You're gonna add one shake for the next two weeks. You wanna make sure you're hitting that at least 13 out of those 14 days during that two week span before you add another habit. And what happens is it seems like, oh, you know what, you're only making a small change, but these small changes tend to snowball. And pretty soon, once you've made these different small changes, all of a sudden, you don't necessarily have to think about adding all these different things to your lifestyle, to your day, to your diet, to your training in order to build lean muscle because they're becoming long-term habits. And when you develop long-term habits, that is truly the key to helping you build lean muscle and look great naked without living in the gym and having this become a lifestyle rather than a constant battle of 30-day, 60-day, and 90-day challenges. So let me rehash all five of these for you. Number one, 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 tracking calories. If you're not tracking calories, guess what? You're gonna have no idea how much you're actually eating. And if you're not eating in a caloric surplus, it doesn't matter how hard you train, you're not gonna build lean muscle. So track your calories. Number two, do not follow inherently restrictive diet because that is going to make it more difficult for you to build lean muscle. I have no problem with fasting, keto, vegan, whatever you wanna do if that's something that you truly support, but understand, Following an inherently restrictive diet is going to make it inherently more difficult to get the calories you need to build lean muscle, which is the most important part for building lean muscle. Don't put the cart before the horse. Trust me on this one. Number three, drastic overeating. Your body can only build muscle so fast. Three to 500 calories is fine for a surplus. Eating an extra 1,500 calories a day isn't going to lead to double or triple the amount of muscle, but it is going to lead to double or triple the amount of fat gain. You don't want that. I don't want that for you, all right? Number four, mini cuts and breaks. I would stay away from them for at least the first three to six months of a bulk simply because they can have you backtrack, question everything that you're doing, and lose sight of the bigger goal at hand. While they sound good, physiologically speaking, there is some, some credibility behind the idea. When you put the human mind into nature and you start trying to implement this stuff, it can be really difficult to stay the course. So take that for what it's worth. And then number five, adding too many habits too soon. Your body can only change so quickly. And if you wanna build long-term sustainable change, you need a long-term sustainable plan for doing so. And this comes in the way of adding small habits week after week after week, because pretty soon, couple of these small habits really build, they take time, and all of a sudden, you've built the body that you want and you have the habits to maintain them without having to use all your conscious thought and motivation in order to succeed. So, if you need a hand in terms of building lean muscle, in terms of losing body fat, and you wanna look great naked without living in the gym and are sick of all the information overload that's out there in the fitness industry today, we're in the right spot. All you need to do hit the link in the comments below, bachperformance.com backslash coaching, and we will take you step-by-step step through the Bach Performance Physique Coaching Program to help you look great naked without living in the gym, without the BS. Everything is gonna be laid out for you. It's gonna be simple, it's gonna be straightforward, and it's gonna be the best decision that you've made when it comes to your health and your fitness. All right, that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. Any questions, make sure you drop them below, and I will get back to you then. Otherwise, have a great day.